Hey guys, welcome back. So it's two years, well, two years and a couple weeks since I last time did showed you guys how to do the fluid exchange on the uh, Toyota Tundra. That is also the time when I installed the magnifying transmission filter. So on today's video, uh, it's not going to be a true step by step. You can watch that video. I will link that uh, on one of the sides here. So you can see exactly how to do that. I will go over the highlights with you. So before, last time I did the, use the uh, Amsoil Signature Series. This time we're gonna be doing an exchange with the Amsoil OE Automatic Transmission Fluid, the fuel efficient version. This is the WS equivalent. This is much, much better. I know what you're gonna be saying. Why are you putting in one step lower than the signature series and the reason is i did a little research and there's a mechanical engineer called rat 540 i will put a link to his blog in the description and he has been doing tests on oil he's got hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of oils automatic transmission fluids stuff like that that he has tested and this has a higher psi rating um, than the signature series so that was interesting so i have a lot of this so that's what i'm going to be going back with i'm going to show you um we're going to cut open this magnifying filter and see if there's anything in there on the last time i did this it's been about 20 something thousand miles uh, that i've gone in uh in that time period since the last time I'm not going to be removing the pan, I'm not going to be removing the filter or the screen uh, because this will filter down finer than the screen anyway, so there's no reason to uh, to do that step. And it's only been 20,000 miles, so, but I am curious to see what is in here, if anything. So uh, with that being said, I'm going to go under the truck and I'm going to give you guys just a quick highlight of what I'm going to be doing and let's do that next. All right, so this needs to be said because somebody's gonna do it. Make sure that you, this is the filler plug on this transmission. It's on the passenger side, right on the, basically this is the tail shaft of the transmission. This is 24 millimeter. Make sure that this is loose. Make sure you can get this and take it off. Uh, I just have it sitting here. And um, this transmission has a drain plug right here. And it's also got the check plug here. This is one of the transmissions that are um, without a dipstick. So I'm going to go ahead and drain this transmission pan here and we'll get as much out as we can get. And about four, a little more than four quarts will come out by doing this. Okay, so I'm draining the fluid. This bolt here, the pan bolt or uh, the drain bolt is a 13 millimeter. And you can still see, hopefully the camera's picking up how nice and red this fluid still is. Something I would completely expect. So there is a uh, crush washer on here that just fell off. Make sure to replace this crush washer. I will uh, show you the actual Toyota part number in just a second. All right, here's the part number. You can just pause the video here. And these are not, these crush washers are not reusable. So please get this before you start the job. I do wanna show you one thing. And they're not expensive. I don't remember how much they are, but they're really cheap. The crush washer has a flat side and it's got a side that's slightly tapered. The flat side needs to go against the face of the bolt here, and the uh, tapered side needs to go towards the pan. All right, so with the uh, new crush washer, I torque the drain plug bolt here to um, 15 foot pounds. And also at this time, I'm going to remove the filler bolt 
and we're going to get set up to add more transmission fluid here and i'll show you how we do that next all right so i've got uh probably about five feet of this clear vinyl tubing the size is it's a half inch od five eighths inch id and i just have it on this funnel i just get whatever this seems to work really good it flows pretty good and i just um, put the funnel down inside here and i'm going to last time i routed it outside the truck up underneath this time i think i'm going to go through the engine compartment so once i get it routed i'll show you exactly what i did all right so i just uh, zip tied the funnel here to the uh, hood strut and i routed the line I, I didn't even use zip ties this time i routed it so it's not touching uh, any of the metal part of the engine it's clear of the catalytic converter and then you can see how the lines coming down comes down right there and uh, I just pushed it in the hole as far as it would go and then backed it out like a quarter inch um, that's why I like this size line because it fits snugly in this fill plug port but it doesn't uh, it's not too tight all right so about four and a half quarts came out so I'm just going to put about four and a half quarts in so this is a uh, extremely hard to uh, get up get this disconnected just because it's um, basically in between two immovable lines so what I found works really good is to use a trim tool and pry it off of this side, the uh, filter side, and then you can pull it off of the uh, the hose. I'm going to replace this because these, it's two years old, they degrade, they get a little bit harder. And I do remember I had a an awful time actually getting this on there. But um, So I'm going to get everything set up and then we'll start to do the uh, fluid exchange. All right, so I have something different than I used last time. This is a five gallon, it's called a carboy. It's just a five gallon container. It has screw off top, all right? And this makes it much less messy um, than using an open pail. So what I'm gonna do is I've got some other tubing here. This is a three eighths inside diameter. And I'm gonna hook it onto the end of the a magnifying filter right there when I'm done with the fluid exchange I'm going to take that magnifying filter off and replace it with a new one and we'll cut it open but let me get everything set up and I'll show you how to do the exchange it's really simple all right so I've got our clear line here I put this uh, this is just a th uh, spare 3 8 piece of uh, tubing that I had and a bolt in the in, in the middle uh, to block it off there's not going to be anything coming out of here because that is the back to the transmission. It's all going to terminate out of the filter here. But um, sometimes, just with the uh, transmission pumping, it some can weep out. But I've just got the end of this in the five-gallon bucket here. So uh, I'm going to crank the truck up, and you'll see the fluid. There'll probably be some sputtering at first because there's air uh, in this line because I disconnected it. But uh, see what happens.
right, so we got out exactly four quarts here. That is one gallon, one and a half, two. That's one of the reasons that I like this right here is because it is graduated on the side. So we got uh, <clears throat> four out. So I'm gonna put four more back in here and then we'll do it again. All right, so I'm gonna crank it up again. And what I'm gonna do this time is I'm going to slowly cycle through the gears as it's pumping out. All right, so we got two gallons through there so far. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and put in uh, four more quarts and we're not gonna flush this anymore. And then I'll disconnect this and replace the magnifying filter. All right. <clears throat> So I just cut the magnifying filter all the way around with a hacksaw. I haven't opened it yet, I wanted to do that with you guys. So excuse the uh, debris right there. That's it. So just like on the magnet and the uh, transmission pan, um, there's just a little bit of uh, that black stuff is um, probably from whatever iron components are in, like uh, the torque converter bushings and stuff like that maybe. But as you can see, there's nothing uh, in the filter other than down here where some of the shavings there's no, there's no way to good, good way to open this. I've tried using a grinder before, um, hacksaw. It's pretty good. But the way this works is, <clears throat> just so you know, um, obviously it fits like that. You see, it's got the flow. So it comes in this way. It passes over the magnet first, and then there is a like a spring-loaded, almost like a bypass there, but. You can see how the diameter difference is, and it forces its way, goes around the magnet, forces its way into the filter media, and then out this way. And I'm assuming that that right there is kind of like a bypass valve. It's spring-loaded. So if this were to get clogged up, then you would still have flow. Um, so easily, at least in this transmission, this can go, you know, two years, at least with the Amsoil. There's, um, there's nothing really in there. There's no debris. It's just as I would have expected. But it's interesting to see how, um, how these work. I know a lot of the older ones were plastic, and they're easier to open. I like these better. Um, these are pretty stout, so that magnet is, is very strong. It is glued on there, 
I guess with maybe some epoxy. Let's um, see if I can get the magnet off with some pliers. I'll try these channel locks. Um, probably this magnet's going to break, but we'll see. Um, it's definitely glued on there. Magnets are pretty fragile when you squeeze them. Yeah, there's no way that's coming off. You'd have to cut it, cut it between there. But anyway, I'm not going to waste my time with it. Uh, it's very interesting how these work. I highly recommend that if you don't have one of these. I use uh, on my Chevy K1500. I've, I've got a big Durali um, spin on transmission filter, which has a giant regular oil filter on it, like you'd use in a Dodge V8. These are great. I have uh, one on the on the Chevy for the power steering, and uh, I was gonna put a I was gonna put the uh, Durali filter on the transmission. Um, for the Toyota, but I don't know why I didn't. Uh, this was kind of easier, I guess. But anyway, I'm very pleased with it. It's uh, yeah, it's a nice piece of uh, nice filter. So if you haven't used these before, I highly suggest that uh, you check them out. I'll put a link down at the uh, description for it. All right, guys, well, I'm gonna end this video, and with that being said, I will see you on the next one.